So the boys recently uh, released their comeback single, P.S. Will G22 be having a comeback single soon as well? And is there anything you can tell us about that? Um, first of all, I want to say congratulations, of course, to our brother group for your second single. You have a super success, And of course, um, we can't really say if we have a second maybe, maybe not. But we're really preparing hard for everything that we want to put out. So um, if you guys want to know, if you want to know any updates, please do follow our social media, G22 Official. And para updated kayo kung meron ba talaga kami yung second comeback. Exciting, exciting. Kita natin ang mga gentlemen nung binigay, kung hindi nyo nakita yun at home ha, nung binigay ng waiter yung water sa kanila sa mga kaka-perform pala in-offer sa mga ladies. Gentlemen talaga. And now let's ask a question to the gentlemen of Vision. So what has been the reaction so far towards PS? Given nga, di ba, na you have two singles pero medyo iba yung, iba yung vibe nila, iba yung tunog. What has been the reaction so far? We're actually surprised of the reactions po because um, a lot of People had had been saying na bagay din po sa amin yung new sound po namin, and currently we're exploring a lot of genres and expect us to explore more. So, so uh, you're saying to the fans that may chance na may mga iba pa sound pa kayo, you're gonna experiment, you're gonna try something new, ba? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's go. Next question for both the man. Oh, these are for the fans. Let's start again in G22 and then to Vision. What can the Bullets and Vixies expect? in the near future. Well, as we're just rookies, there's so much that the Vixies and Bullets has, haven't seen. So definitely expect for different sides of us that you haven't seen already. Expect, of course, from our management, Cornerstone, there's going to be some really interesting stuff and concepts that you get to also be included. So definitely keep up. Hey, all you my boys, and what uh, can the fans expect in the near future? Yes, well, so for us, vision, the man, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot in store for the Vexies. Um, we have some lineups at the table, and and hopefully soon we can have a fan meets, more like performances, and expect we're gonna have some more songs, and hopefully an EP by the end of the year. And also. A lot more of contents will be released on our official social media platforms, but so keep in touch. But so Vision Official, follow us there. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we have um, now we're open uh, for Q and A from our press. So who will we who will we start with? Who will we start with over here? Hi Vision. Hi um, G Twenty Two. Um, today is your official launch, but uh, a lot of people have already seen you uh, a few days ago when it was announced you're going to be part of uh, the Pop One event. So how does it feel that you're going to be part of this historical event for the Pop scene? Um, I'm very excited and happy to be a part of Pop Con po kasi of course this is also going to be our first performance na marami pa pong ibang tao, marami pang ibang bullets, marami pa kaming ibang kasamang P-pop idols na gusto rin po namin maging kaibigan and makasama sa P-pop con. Yes, Pop. We are very honored and grateful to be surrounded by such amazing artists and P-pop idols din po. Because as we're rookies, it's just so surreal and we're so thankful. Thank you, well, um, na mention na po namin dati na parang we dream of having a convention where in pop groups po magkakaroon ng isang event and we'll perform together in one stage and finally, ito na ang nangyayari na and we're happy na makasama yung iba pang mga pop groups our brothers and sisters in one event and yeah, we're very excited because um, this event, it's one for the books since ito ngayon po yung first event kung saan magsasama-sama lahat ng pop groups and we're very very excited po na makasama yung ibang pop groups sa isang stage so I po, I can't wait for people pop Again, for my last question what's the best thing about being part of, you know, of the group that you are representing right now? I believe the best part of being in a group is to meet yung mga kasama ko, these girls na may isang pangarap na pare-parehas kaming may tinatahak may pare-parehas kaming um, you know, dream and to meet people like that, na may, fa may, may fire, may passion, 
iba yung excitement, iba yung fun ng magtrabaho. I don't really think the work siya. I think of it as something that I enjoy. Something na excited the whole every morning. And di ako makapag- Bakit ako nasa bahay? Kasama ko pa rin sila. And everything is just so fun. Pero kahit may mga pressure, enjoy. In to. Yes, ako naman po. I'm very blessed to have this family. My corner store and of course, my brothers. Um, Noong una, hindi ako makapinawala dahil uh, uh, may namit kang same, uh, same goal, same inspiration. So, we're very blessed na para nagkaroon din ako ng family and we, we really are helping each other to grow and to lift people. Okay, thank you. Next question over here. <laughs> Congratulations guys, so, uh, you all, ang gaganda ang gagawa ko ng franchise. And of course, ang uusay nyo rin yung perform. Ayan. Pero sa, ma- sa mga girls muna, can you tell us more? Kung, kasi nakita namin kanina yung mga emotional moment na sa rehearsal. Bakit ganun, bakit ganun yun? Ba't kayo kumabot sa ganun mga rin? na medyo nag-iyakan. So, ano nangyari? Sobrang hirap ba ng training talaga? Um, I can really say na mahirap yung training po kasi um, there's a certain sad standard you have to achieve. And not only na personal din siya, na kal- there are times when you really doubt yourself na tama po ba na nandito ako sa, sa ganito, nag-ipap ba ako. Pero at the end of the day, May mga kasama din ako na same pa rin yung nararamdaman, same kami ng tinatahak, and makikita mo rin sa kanila yung paghihirap nila eh. So, masasak- doon din po ako nasasaktan sometimes pag lowest moments ng kasama namin kagrupo, nagiging lowest moment ko din siya. Opo, and I know all of us here have made certain sacrifices to be here, and you know, if we feel like we're not doing the best we can, it definitely hits right in the blue soap because we know we know that we want to give our best and we want to show the world we want to show the philippines that we're dreamers and we want to do this and so every time we feel doubt or discouraged it really takes a toll because of the sacrifices that we've made as a group okay Pati yung pagsagot. Actually, may interview na yung just dati pa ng solo lang. But, ayan, so, ayan. Anyway, good luck. Sa boys naman, hindi ko kasi alam kung paano kayo nabuo. Alin ba ang nagsimula? Yung talent ba muna? O yung good looks ba muna? Alin ba doon? Kasi, parang parang sinala talaga kayo eh. Diba? So, paano nabuo at nag- nag-audition kayo? Or... So, so, for vision naman po, nabuo po kami since skin out po kami. We were handpicked by our management po. And then, dumaan po kami ng rigorous training po kung saan nag-earn po kami ng monthly evaluations. Okay. And actually, marami po kami before. Hindi lang po kami lima. But isa-isa pong may napapalitan. And then, may ikaw po mapasok. So, ito na po yung final lineup namin dito. And before po kami pumasok sa vision po, uh, siguro nasanay kami sa daily life namin, may ginagawa namin. Tapos nung pumasok po kami, super nag-adjust po kami. Para po talaga sa dreams namin. So, super hirap po talaga ng adjustment at first and ating sacrifices. But, ginawa po namin siya to fight for our dreams po. And, dun po pumapasok yung self-doubt. Kasi, kapag training po, as a training, talagang ito-doubt mo yung sarili mo na baka naglalak ako sa pagganda, sa pagganda, ganyan. So, dun po siya. Na, may mga times sa talaga ng muntik namin mag-give up. But, thankful ako na dito yung ibang members namin para i-lift yung each other. So, ayun po. Okay, pero the right attitude dapat. Eh, for as long as pinibigay niya 100%, dapat hindi kayo mag-doubt sa sarili. Kasi kaya kayo nandito dahil maraming nagtiwala sa sarili. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, next question. Let's go. Sorry, excuse me. Dito po tayo sa harap. Next question. Hi, hello. I'm Tessa from Manila Times. Congratulations, guys. You all look great and you all gave your all 100% kanina. Feel na feel namin yung performances nyo. Um, you know, P-pop is still fairly new, you can say that, di ba, na um, kayo, you know, we can count pa rin naman in one hand kung ilan pa lang ang P-pop groups natin ngayon sa Pilipinas. So the definition really of the sound of P-pop, meron pang pwedeng mahiba, maidagdag, 
Um, in your case, both the boys and the girls, what do you think is the new thing, or maybe this a signature um, sound that you've brought into your brand of pipa? Like, what sets you apart? Actually, the pipa industry is is the pop industry. The only difference is the Philippines touch, the Philippine flavor. And what differentiates the pipa industry from any other pop is the roots that the Philippines has. The traditions, the culture that makes the Philippines Philippines. So I think if we were to add something to make it different, maybe our youth, our youth puts a different color onto it. Um, but every single pipa artist and group has their own flavor. And I think, honestly, we work as one to rise the pipa industry together. Not as individuals, but as together to raise the Philippines. And that's what makes us different. Vision? Yes, po. Um, sabi naman po na, in nga po, pipa is growing po. And that's all thanks to our seniors nga po who paved the way. And siguro ang pipa up naman po is tayo kasing mga Filipino is mahugot. Uh, mahilig tayo sa mga hugot. So, that's yung mga pipa and yung puso talaga ng Pinoy. I think yun talaga ang isa-set apart kung ano yung pipa up. Ang puso na pinapakita ng Pinoy, nakikita naman natin sa ibang bansa, sa mga contest na ba't ba nagsastrive yung mga Filipino? Which is, yung pagpapakita ng puso, yung hard work para magpakita ng something new lahat. And mahilig tayo sa pasabot mga Pinoy. So, yung lagi nang may pasabot mga Pinoy. Also, uh, pag-OPM po, marami po mga genre na sige lang po uh, exclusive sa mga ballads, mga slow songs, and sa pipa po, parang unti-unti kong parang pinag-merge po yung different genres, and dun po nagkakaroon ng new output, and dun parang mas ma-appreciate natin yung different genres in one song, in one album, ganun. So I think ang importante kasi diba, I mean, when we hear of pipa, we always want to see you all, you know, not just here but internationally. And what's important really is that you have an identity that's that's all your own. So I hope you're able to keep that. And if we do see something, maybe we can't put the word, you know, a word to it yet. Pero may iba talaga. And uh, congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now we move on to our next question, sir.